Hello everyone, my name is Ajay. Uh, in this video, I am going to explain you about XML serialization and deserialization. So, first of all, XML serialization is nothing but converting a, a .NET object to a XML object is known as XML serialization. And uh, whereas com converting a XML object to a .NET object is known as deserialization. So, for explaining that in detail, I want to use this console application example. So. Uh, here I created a console application. So here you can see the program.cs file. So for explaining this in detail, I want to use an example uh, related to school. So for a school, we we do have different properties like right like school name, school address, school zip code. So for that reason, I'm using a uh, example related to school. So first of all, I need to create a .NET object. So first, I, I'm going to explain you about the serialization, how you can a serialize a .NET object to XML object. So for that, I need to have a .NET object. So for that, I am creating a, a class by naming it as school. And for this, I am giving few properties like school name, which is of string type and School address and zip code. So here I'm having a class which is named as school and it is having three properties. So I want to create an object of school and assign few values for the in the main method. School one and school address as India and zip code as one two three four. Okay. So here you can see I'm having a school object here. I created a school object and as then few values to that object. So now in the serialization process, you need to convert this object to XML. A file and then you need to generate this object in the form of XML. So I want to create a file here uh, which is having this X which is having this object in the form of XML. So so for that whatever you want to do I mean for serializing and deserializing so whatever you wanted to do related to serialization you need to use this namespace using system.xml.serialization so here you can find a class known as Serializer, XML serializer. So using this class, this class will be having all the methods like for serializing and deserializing. So for that you can use, you have to use this class uh, for accessing all those methods. So for that thing, I'm using this class here, and I'm creating object for that. So here you can see it is expecting a type. This type is nothing but the type. Of dot and object that you want to convert to as XML. So here uh, the type is school that I want to serialize, right? So I have to just give the type here. Okay. So if you see the serialize, so if you if you see this serialize predefined method of this XML serializer. So it is expecting two parameters. One is stream and the other one is object row. So the stream here is nothing but you have to create a stream writer and just yes, you can pass that parameter. And the object row is nothing but this object. Whatever object you want to serialize to XML, that object you have to pass as a second parameter. So the first parameter is just the stream, stream writer. So for that thing I'm using stream writer. Uh, name it as write is equal to new stream writer so here you can see it is expecting a path string path i mean second overloading is like string path so uh, you can give a path here with a file name so that whenever we serialize then it will automatically create that content in that xml file so for now my path is just copy your path wherever you want to save that xml file so give that path in here and I'm just naming that as 
school.xml okay so this this stream writer is ready now and the next thing is or uh, the object is also ready so you can pass the stream writer and the object to the CLS predefined method so here you can see it will serialize uh, this object and will store that thing in the stream stream writer so let's run this and let's test whether it's working or not so after running i have to see a file in this folder uh, xml file in that folder which will be having this object contents in the form of xml so let's run control f5 okay and here if you see in this folder i got this cool xml file generated successfully so let's open that and check it whether it's as expected or not so i'm using you can use either one i'm using microsoft edge for opening that one so here you can see school is the uh, parent type and for that i'm having child notes school name school address zip code that is nothing but the properties so if you compare it with the code so so school one school name as school one and uh, school address as india and zip code as 12344 so it was converted successfully so now here you can see i'm having xml file which is having xml content so it is generated successfully after serialization so this is all about serialization and now let's see how we can deserialize into a dotnet object Okay, so for deserializing, I will be using the same file. So here you can see I'm having a school XML file here. So I want to use this X, I want to convert this XML content from this. Uh, I want to use this XML file for that XML content and convert that into a .NET object, uh, which is of school type. So for that, uh, I need to deserialize it again. So for deserializing, let's check what parameters it is expecting so we do have a deserialize predefined method also in this uh, class xml serializer so we can use that method directly and we can uh, pass the parameters that it needs and we can deserialize uh, as as uh, as the type that you want so here you can see it is expecting a xml reader or a stream so what i will do is i will create a reader first so I will create a stream reader object so here I can pass a path string path of the XML file that I want to read so a stream reader is nothing but whatever path you pass here it will read that content and will be stored in the form of stream so as the deserialize method is expecting in the form of stream reader so I am creating the stream reader here so if you go and check the path so this is i mean at then it will be the same path right i'm using the same path so this path is nothing but it is the path of this school xml file so i'm passing it here again okay so now the reader is ready the stream reader is ready so let's pass that here so here you can see i'm having a reader it's nothing but a parent class of stream reader xml reader it's the parent class is stream reader so you can pass this reader here okay so if you see the return type it is giving it in the form of object so as we know after deserializing it will give us in the form of school so i want to type cast it to the school type and i want to store that in a deserialize object okay so let's check whether i got this or this file this let's check now let's check whether it is deserialized or not so here if you see this is the xml file so this must be deserialized into the dotnet object so for doing that so for that uh, i want to run it again so this time so 
time I got an exception. Okay, the process cannot access file. Why? Because it is used by another process. Maybe I opened it, so that's the reason it is uh, not able to read that file. So I, I want to close that file now. Okay, I close that file and okay. I closed everything and let's run it again so before that I want to keep a breakpoint here so just to check whether I got this uh, XML file contents in this deserialized object or not for that I kept a breakpoint and run, I'm running it again so uh, the thing is that it's throwing an exception why because uh, the thing is that I open the XML file uh, in the before browsers and also uh, I, I didn't close this writer here so what whenever you uh, create object to a stream writer then don't forget to close it so I have to close that one and let's run this time f5 okay so the it, it came to the breakpoint and if you see the deserialized object then I got the contents again school address as India school name as school one and this zip code as one two three four four so it's simple friends I mean this is our serialization, serialization and deserialization of a XML object to a .NET and .NET to a XML object so then I, I'm so in the deserializing, deserialization I'm just converting this school XML contents to a .NET object and here you can see I got that contents here so so that's about a basic serialization and a deserialization so further to, mo to go if you go in depth if you go more in depth so for example if I have any collection in this school class if I have any uh, property as a collection in this school how you can do that so it's nothing but for example if you think for a school there will there will be multiple teachers right so uh, I mean I want to add another property in this school which is a array of teachers so for doing that I want to first create a class naming as teacher and I want to give teacher ID one property as teacher ID and the other property as teacher name okay so this is the teacher class here so in this school there may be multiple teachers so I want to create an array of teachers in this school so teacher array and I want to name the property as teachers okay so this is nothing but like in this school I uh, can have array of teachers more number of teachers whereas school name school address zip code will be only one record whereas teachers it may be more than one record why because it is in the form of array so let's do let's check how we can uh, serialize and deserialize if we are having a, if we have any collection in the uh, .NET object so for that thing I want to I want to add a teacher teacher array to the school object so for that I am creating a teacher array of length 2 for now I am giving it as length of 2 and I want to pass the teacher objects to that array and I am giving the id as 1 for 1 teacher and name as t1 okay this is one object and the second object just I'm copying the same one okay okay I'm copying the same object now for a second teacher and I'm giving the ID as 2 and the name as t2 before making it simple I just want to separate it in new lines so 
so I want to make this teacher object a little bit simple so for that I'll just uh, remove this for now okay I'm just declaring a teachers array here sorry okay uh, I missed a new keyword here so here you can see I'm having a teachers array which is having two teacher objects in that one is with ID 1 and the teacher name as T1 and the other ID as 2 and the teacher name as T2 so I'm having a teachers array ready here and I want to just give that teachers array to this school object okay so now in this school objects I'm having school 1 India and 1 2 3 4 as zip code and again I'm having teachers array as a collection for this object so let's check whether it is serializing and also let's check whether it is deserializing if we are having if we have this collection uh, in the dotnet object so let's run and check it control f5 okay it ran successfully so let's open the school file again and check it so here if you see the xml file so I got the teachers collection successfully here so for this teachers I'm having two teachers so teacher one one teacher two has two ID so if you see this is the teachers collection and if I'm having two teachers here so if you see the code it's nothing but that and then it's converting this teachers also into the XML so so here you can see serialization is working successfully and let's check whether it is deserializing uh, as expected so I want to use the same file again for checking whether it is deserializing so I'm passing that path here and let's run it again pressing I'm pressing on F5 so here if you go to deserialize object so I got the school address school name and I got a teachers collection here and if you see in the collection I got teacher ID as one one teacher with teacher ID as one and the another teacher with teacher ID as two so this is our uh, deserialization friends I mean at the end it is simple uh, converting a dotnet object to a xml object and again a converting a xml object to a dotnet object so this is all about serializing and deserializing friends uh, i hope you understand this if you have any questions or if you have any queries please give, post them in the comment section so i will definitely answer them if i go through it or else the viewers of this video will definitely answer if you have any questions uh, and also friends you know what in the next video i'm planning to show you how you can serialize and deserialize a json object to a dotnet object so json serializing serializing and uh, deserializing uh, so in the next video I'll, i'm planning to uh, explain about that and also friends uh, you know what uh, in few more days I, I want to start some live videos in youtube live streaming in youtube where i will be answering any of your questions related to dotnet uh, in live so for that thing if you want to receive any notifications regarding that uh, live streaming please subscribe to my channel uh, so and also if you like this video please like the video and that's it friends and also you know what i will be posting this code i will be uh, giving the link of this code in the description so if you if you go through the description link you can find this code i mean i'll post this code in the blog in my blog so there you can find this code just go through the link in the description of this video Okay, that's it friends. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Uh, have a good one. Thank you.